What's up you guys? It's Katya Volks. Um, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, hello. Subscribe. I don't know. Yes. But anyways, um, welcome to this recipe video that I have totally been neglecting on editing and stuff, but been super happy to have created this low carb, higher protein, vegan, gluten free, whatever, like, you know, macaroni and cheese recipe. So I do recommend that you follow it by the T if you want it to fit like the certain macros that I'm kind of like showing here. Otherwise you can make whatever adjustments if needed, but otherwise, yes. So let's get to the ingredients. All right, so first of all, we're gonna start off with these tofu shirataki noodles. Now these are the macaroni ones, obviously, since we're making macaroni and cheese, and these are just the macros in it, so all you have to do is uh, drain them. Then next we're going to be using ripple milk, so the unsweetened original, and I'm going to pause by here and tell you that if you want it to be zero, this to be zero carb part, use this, because this is zero carb. So. Yes, these, but it has high protein as well. Next, we have some non-GMO cornstarch. Um, this is just to help thicken up the sauce because that's kind of important. Nutritional yeast because it gives you B12s and adds that cheesy flavor. Then we got some turmeric just to add a little more of the yellow color because this is macaroni cheese. So, then we got some garlic powder and some onion powder that helps with just flavor so yeah totally recommend this so I'm just here draining out the macaroni um, so yeah this is what you do you just cut it open and put in a pot and then rinse it under some hot water for a bit otherwise it does kind of recommend that you oil it or something just to help kind of get the aroma but I just find that running it under hot water helps so I'm adding now about I think I added two-thirds of a cup of the ripple milk can't remember exactly to be honest uh, put it to low heat because you want this to cook pretty slowly then once it started to heat up add your nutritional yeast and get a whisk and you know whisk that all together so it mixes up very well so I added here some turmeric just for the color so that always helps with the yellowness of all of this so whisk that and whisk 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 away I'm just rambling on while you watch me whisk. Now watch me whisk. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, next, we're going to add the cornstarch. So what you have to do, though, is you add cold water to the cornstarch, mix it in like a separate cup, and then slowly add it to your like hot mixture. Because if you add it just straight in with the dry powder, it just clumps up, and then it doesn't do the thickening harder and as you can see it's already thickening up pretty well like a cheese sauce so pretty dope pretty dope and just make sure that's you know nice and mixed yeah so here I am putting in the macaroni and yeah so just, yeah you put that in <laughs> not much to it so um, where did I go? Caught you. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Uh, you gotta mix it. Oh, there I am. Okay, cool. Here I am. Mixing it. Yes. And look at that cheesiness. And, oh, so beautiful. Yes. Okay, guys. So, I have the mac and cheese right here. Look how creamy and freaking delicious. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, taste test. Let's do this. Mmm. 
oh my gosh. Oh. I have to have my dad try this. This is so good. Mm. Oh man. Like the garlic powder and the onion powder definitely make a difference in the cheesiness. But, pro tip. So I ended up using like two tablespoons of cornstarch because the first time I forgot that you have to make like a slurry kind of out of it with cold water before you add it into a sauce to make it thick. So that was my cooking mistake. Um, but then I remembered the second round and so it came out perfect. Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed. Mm. Mm. So yeah guys, this is my very low carb um, idea for a macaroni and cheese recipe, I guess to call it. Um, the other option, I mean, to make a cheese sauce is I know with potatoes and carrots, but that obviously will have, I think, probably few more, fewer more carbs. Um, so give this a try and of course, nutritional yeast is awesome for you. So it's always great to add to foods that'll give you your B12 for all my vegan friends out there. But yeah, I hope you guys really liked this recipe as much as I did. Go give it a try. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe for more. If you have any recommendations for recipes or stuff like that, um, yeah, put them in the comments section below. Otherwise, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, night, whatever time it is. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you.